Well, there is a good chance that one will find its way into your home this weekend. We are talking about chocolate Easter bunnies. I hope so. It's estimated 90 million chocolate Easter bunnies will be sold this year. The creation of the first ones date all the way back to the 19th century. But as Dave Delosier tells us, in a candy kitchen in Lake Mills, chocolate Easter bunnies are finding new life. We did a lot of molding for Easter, that's for sure. There is a uniqueness to all of this. For almost 30 years, James Jarnigo has been hand-making chocolate Easter bunnies in his kitchen, but these are not your everyday bunnies. And I always thought that was the neatest thing to walk into a store and see something that nobody else has. Instead of just the traditional sitting bunny, out of what we all seem to crave comes something different. I've got into boating, so that I had to get the boating bunny. <laughs> One riding a rooster. <laughs> tractor, I have him riding the tractor. We have one riding a rocket. You don't see a motorcycle, you know, a bunny riding a motorcycle or a rooster or a golfer or a, a tractor bunny. So I, when I saw those molds, I thought, well, I've got to have that because that's, that's unique. There are also big, big bunnies all the way down to little baby bunnies. <coughs> all made by one candy maker, one bunny at a time. And while worldwide, more than 90 million chocolate Easter bunnies will be made this year, not many will be wearing a badge. <coughs> And I have a, a, a cousin who's a policeman. And seemingly everywhere you look, there's another bunny. I have 19 different varieties. That seem to have 19 different personalities. I tried to get be a little more unique that you can't find everywhere. Because, yeah, yeah there's always the sitting bunny, or the, now they're always foil-wrapped, and they're hollow. These are never hollow. And never have to just hop to get somewhere. And given the way these 19 bunnies reproduce, it begs the question, if there's a 20th bunny, out there somewhere. Up, up, you know, in the next couple years, I'll probably add a few more. In Lake Mills, this is Dave Delosia. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but <laughs> when I see it, I'll know it. WISC News 3. That's pretty creative, They're huh? They're very creative. All right there in that Lake Mills kitchen. Now, Easter, by the way, is second only to Christmas for candy sales at the Lake Mills shop. And if you're wondering, according to a survey conducted by the National Confection Association, 89% of people bite the ears <laughs> off of a chocolate bunny first. Now, do you like the solid ones or the hollow ones? I've always liked the hollow ones. Yeah, really? But all of those looked really good. <laughs> kind of making you hungry. Yeah, they for really, that really did. Candy. Very creative.